Welcome back to the Savage Sullivan Math website. Today we are going to solve systems of equations, but we're going to use substitution this time. Substitution is where you can replace something with an equivalent expression or an equivalent idea. So the nice thing about this system is the top equation tells us what y is equal to. y is equal to a negative 4x minus 7. The bottom equation also tells us what y is equal to. It is equal to a negative x plus 2. Now if the top equation says y is equal to something, and the bottom equation also says that y is equal to something, we could effectively say that these two items are equivalent to each other. So we could rewrite this as negative 4x minus 7 is equal to a negative x plus 2. So what we have done is we've replaced this y with its equivalent expression. Now we just need to solve this equation for x. So we're going to add x to both sides of the equation, and we're left with negative 3x minus 7 is equal to 2. Then we add 7 to both sides, and we get negative 3x is equal to 9. Divide both sides by negative 3, and you know that x is equal to a negative 3. Just like when you're solving systems of equations by graphing, the answer is going to be an ordered pair. So now we know the x coordinate of the ordered pair, which is negative 3. We just need to plug this negative 3 into one of these equations to solve for y. So I'm going to plug it into this bottom equation right here. I'm going to say y is equal to a negative, because there's a negative there. My x is a negative 3, and then plus 2. Two negatives make a positive, and 3 plus 2 is equal to 5. So the ordered pair that works for both of the equations is negative 3, comma, 5. So now we're going to look at another example of substitution, but this time both equations are not in slope-intercept form. So as you can see, this equation has a variable that's isolated. The y is isolated, which tells us that's what we want to substitute in. So we are going to take this negative 4x plus 12, and we're going to replace it or substitute it into the bottom equation for the y at the bottom. So when we go to substitute it in, we're going to have 2x plus, again, this negative 4x plus 12 is going to go in for the y. So we'll have negative 4x plus 12, and then everything else gets copied, equals 2. Now we have an equation in one variable that we can solve. So we're going to go ahead and solve it for x. So negative 4x plus 2x is negative 2x plus 12 equals 2. Subtract the 12 from both sides. We're going to get negative 2x equals negative 10. Divide by negative 2 and we get x equals 5. So, as Mrs. Sullivan said, our answer is still an ordered pair. So in our ordered pair, we know that the x coordinate is going to be 5. Now we have an option. We have two equations in our system. So we can either choose to plug this 5 in for the x here and for the x or for the x here. Really, it's your choice. I always tell my students to go with the one that's most efficient. So I'm going to take the 5 and I'm going to plug it in for this x up here because the y is already by itself. So if I go over here and I plug it in, y equals negative 4 times 5 plus 12. I'm going to get negative 20 plus 12, and we know y equals negative 8. So our ordered pair that we are going to get is negative 5, negative 8.